Welcome to the channel. In celebration of St. Patrick's Day, we'll be fixing Irish soda bread in the Dash Mini Pie Maker. Maybe we'll all be blessed with luck of the Irish. So let's get started. This video is a Larry Under Pressure production. Here he is. Hi y'all, I'm on a little bit of a roll with the Dash Mini Pie Maker. So I thought I'd continue tonight with one more. It's a great snack for either breakfast in the morning or in the evening and it's so easy and quick to fix. You can whip up two, three, four, or five of these in no time at all. And it's Irish soda bread. It's great and it's good with um, butter and jelly or jam or anything you like on it. You can even add raisins or cranberries to them and cook them that way. They're very flexible. They're simple, they're crusty, and they're bland. Um, they don't have a whole lot of flavor but that leaves them wide open to you putting whatever you want on them and making them. So let's start, they, they come from Ireland, of course. So let's start and we're gonna put our flour in the bowl. We're gonna put a quarter cup of all-purpose flour in the bowl, followed by one eighth teaspoonful of baking soda. And the soda is, of course, where we get the soda bread. And then it's not part of the original recipe, but I like it with a little bit of salt in it because the soda doesn't have enough salt. So I'm going to put a pinch of salt. And I'm going to mix that up so that that's all mixed together in the flour. And then we're going to put our fourth and last ingredient, and that's three tablespoons full of buttermilk. Um, I've never used whole milk or any other kind of milk other than buttermilk because it's the traditional type of liquid that you put in it. So let's put the three tablespoons of buttermilk and start mixing it up. Um, the dash is preheated and it's sitting there waiting for us. By the way, the dash, while I'm stirring this, let me tell you, the dash mini pie maker, in my opinion, is the most versatile and easiest to use of all the Dash Mini cookers. Um, it's a little bit more expensive than the grill and the griddle because it's a little more complicated, but it's hard to beat because you can do more in it than you can do in all the others put together. There's a link in the text following this video down below that you can use to order one. There's an Amazon link and you can order it and it won't cost you any more to order it through my page than it would if you just order it straight from Amazon. So I'd encourage you to order one. Now you can see this dough is real sticky, real thick, and ready to go. So let's open the mini pie maker, put it in, and you don't have to be careful about spreading it out or kneading it very much or anything else. It's real forgiving. Just put it in there, let it go, and you can see what it looks like. It looks like a drop biscuit and that's what it is. We're going to close it and we're going to let it go for 11 minutes. I'll be back in 11 minutes and we'll take a final look at it. I said 10 minutes on this. Actually, I said 11 minutes to cook on this. It's been going for eight and it's smelling like it's cooked, so yeah, it is done. Look how nice and brown it is. Let's see how it looks on the bottom. Looks just as good on the bottom. Let's take it out. It looks perfect. Um, I'm glad I stopped it a little early. So let's adjust the time to go 8 to 9 minutes instead of 10 to 11. But different devices heat differently, so you'll have to keep an eye on it like we did on this one. We're going to let that cool for a few minutes, then we're going to cut it and check it out what it looks like inside and maybe give it a little taste test. So we'll be right back. This soda bread has cooled now for a few minutes, so let's go ahead and cut into it and see what it looks like. Uh, typically of Irish soda bread, the outside is crusty and the inside is moist. Yeah, it looks great. Perfect. Let's put a little butter on that. A 
let the butter melt and I'm gonna break away for just a minute and take a couple thumbnails and I'll be right back okay this looks real good but I wanted to tell you when I was off camera a little while ago I fixed another one of these and what I did was instead of using three tablespoons of buttermilk I used three and a half and what it did was it made a different appearance biscuit than these. This one's more crusty and has a more textured top and this is smoother but it looks like the same inside so I just thought I'd mention that if you like this better than the way this looks add a little bit more more buttermilk to it. Let's go ahead and try this and see what it tastes like Very good. Typical Irish soda bread. Mmm. A little apple butter on that. And you've got yourself quite a little snack. Or a nice little breakfast if you put some sausage on it or some bacon and cheese and maybe some egg. But it cooked in the Dash Mini Pie Maker and did a great job. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us a lot and gives the channel out to more people. And also, if you need to order, there's an extensive list of things that we use in Larry Under Pressure in the text below this video. We appreciate you being here. If you're one of our regular subscribers, you know we love you and we're always glad to have you here. If you're not, it's real easy to become one. Just click below. We'll see you next time. Thank you for joining us for our Irish soda bread video. A full, printable recipe is below along with Amazon links for many of the items Larry uses on the channel. It's always good to have you join us, and we look forward to hosting you again soon. Take care now.